Automobile claim amounts are uniformly distributed on zero to 10,000. Actuary A reports X, which is the claim amount divided by 1,000. Actuary B reports Y, which is X rounded to the nearest integer from zero to 10. Calculate the absolute value of the difference between the fourth moment of X and the fourth moment of Y. So the claims are uniformly distributed on zero to 10,000. And actually A reports the claim divided by 1,000. So X is the claim divided by 1,000. Now, it is known that if uh, u is uniform, so x is u by 1000. Now it is known that if u is uniform on a, b, and x equals c times u, where c is a constant, then x is uniform on c, a, c, b. So in other words, if you multiply a uniform distribution by a constant c, yeah, and it was uniform A, B, then basically you just multiply the endpoints by that constant. So the constant here is one over a thousand and you multiply the endpoints by one over a thousand. So this would still be zero and one over a thousand times 10,000 will be 10. So X will actually be uniform on zero to 10. So the PDF of X will be one over 10, right? Remember uniform PDF is one over B minus A from A to B. So it'd be one over 10 from X zero to 10. Now, the four, we are looking at the difference between the fourth moment of X and the fourth moment of Y. So the fourth moment of X will be the expected value of X power four, remember? the expected value um, of x power n is the nth moment. So by definition, this is uh, the integral of x to the four against the PDF. And PDF was one over 10. And so the integral of x four is x five over five. And when you put in the limits, you get 2000. That's the fourth moment of x. So now, Y, let's go back to see what Y was. Y is X rounded to the nearest integer from zero to 10. Now they did not have to say this from zero to 10. That is a redundant phrase. They could have just said that Y is x rounded to the nearest integer. Because obviously we know that x goes from 0 to 10, so we are talking about uh, the nearest integer over here. So in order to see what y was, we split uh, the possibilities of x like this, because x goes from zero to 10. Now when x is between zero to 0 0.5, all these values, as long as uh, you are less than 0 0.5 and you are bigger than or equal to zero, so all these, any of these values uh, will round to zero if you are rounding to the nearest integer. And similarly, if you are going from 0.5 and you are less than 1.5. So anything in this range uh, rounds to one to the nearest integer. Similarly, two, so, so on. And if anything is uh, greater than or equal to 9.5 and less than or equal to 10, that rounds to 10. And then, so these are the Y values because Y is X rounded to the nearest integer and f of y, uh, we look at the probabilities of this. So this uh, is an interval of length 0.5 
and the overall length of the x interval is from 0 to 10. So you would divide this one, this interval length by the total length, which is 10. So 0 0.5 divided by 10 is 0 0.05. This is second one is an interval of length one because 1 1.5 minus 0 0.5 is one. And when you divide one by 10, which is a total x interval range, so 1 by 10 is 0.1. Similarly, this is length 1. So 1 by 10 is 0.1 and so on. And the last one is again an interval of length 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 divided by 10 is 0 0.05. So y is discrete variable. So its fourth moment is still expected value of y power 4. But the expected value of y power 4 uh, will be a summation of y4 against fy instead of the integral because it's a discrete variable. It's taking values. y is taking values from 0 through 10. So uh, when you do the summation of y4 fy, uh, from y is 0 to 10, okay, well, this y is equal to 0 doesn't contribute, so I haven't written it here. So after 0, the next is 1, 2, 3, and so on. And from 1 to 9, the probabilities are all 0.1. So like this would be 1, 4 times 0.1 plus 2, 4 times 0.1 plus 3 power 4 times 0.1 and so on up to 9. And then for the 10th one, the probability is 0 0.05, so 10 power 4 times 0 0.05. So I've done the 10 power 4 separately because that's the only one which had a different probability. All these had probability of 0 0.1, so you can collect these. And the result of all this, when you do on calculator, will be 2033. And that's the fourth moment of y. And remember earlier, we calculated the fourth moment of x, that was 2000. So the absolute value of the difference between these two, that's what we were asked, the absolute value of the difference between the fourth moment of x and the fourth moment of y. So that will be 2033 minus 2000, that's 33, that was choice B.